Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a dynamic signature in Pardot. So right now we're taking a look at an email template I've got in Pardot. And you can see that under regards, we have a couple merge fields, sender name, sender title, sender phone. This is one way to you know, have a dynamic signature in the system. So if this email template is sent from different users, it's going to have the appropriate person's name and title and phone number. But sometimes this isn't quite enough. Sometimes what you actually want is to insert the picture of the person or insert a you know, Calendly link or social media links, other things that you might find in a HTML-based signature beyond just these specific fields. So in Pardot, you can add that dynamic signature by hitting merge field, going to sender, and inserting the signature here. And this would take the place of these other merge fields. The thing is, you have to make sure that you set up a HTML signature for the person that's gonna be sending the email. It's not gonna be there automatically. You've gotta set that up. So I'm gonna hit save draft on this email for now, and I'll show you where you can find that signature and make changes. And it's in Pardot. So if you click on the Pardot settings tab here, and then go to users over here on the left, and click on the list of users, you can edit each one of these users in Pardot to get to that signature. So here it is. We've got HTML signature, and we have text email signature. If the system is sending an HTML-based email, it's going to choose from this top box. If it's sending a plain text email, it'll choose from the bottom box here. And with this editor, we've got all the standard HTML functionality. You can add links, you can add images, tables, you can even access the HTML code directly, just like in the classic email builder. And you can get a lot more creative with that signature and know that it's going to be uh, placed into that email that's sent dynamically. Now, where a lot of people make a mistake when it comes to this is they see that signature field in Pardot and they think it's the Salesforce signature. That is not the right spot. Make sure if these emails are coming from Pardot that you're going into Pardot settings and Pardot users to modify that signature. Don't just change it on the Salesforce side or you're going to be disappointed when those changes don't show up in your email. Well, I hope that helps. If it did, please hit the like button. And if you'd like more videos similar to this one, please hit subscribe. Thanks.